All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Ultra Age. It is a hack and slash action RPG, much like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, uh, but made by an indie studio, which, to be honest, I always love going for the indie studio variants of every game. Maybe it's not always the best, but there's just always some, like, neat heart and soul to them. Anyway, let's just dive right in. Not a whole lot of options there, but that's kind of fine. And I should mention this is out on Switch and PS4 with a PC port coming later. I don't know how much later, but it's coming later. Is that 3174 AD? Fair enough. Oh shit, I'm a saying. Okay, not quite a Saiyan. The ball is a bit wrong. I always thought those Saiyan orbs were like the coolest hey, thing ever. You have to focus. It's always like this when we land. Hey, Age, get it together, handsome. Damn. I'm fine. I was just enjoying the unfamiliar air for a moment. A robot like you might not understand, but a planet exploration mission starts with feeling the air with your entire body. Holy shit, this is terrible. <laughs> I can already tell I'm going to hate the voice acting. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to suffer through it like just a little bit more and then I think I might just turn it off and just Hurry. do my thing. What is this mission? To collect a frontier relic. So we just have to get the goods? I don't foresee any particular issue. But aren't most frontier relics over 1,000 years old? Will they still be okay? Surprisingly, the relic still appears to work. The problem is that there's a strange phenomenon occurring nearby. You with the arms and legs. Hurry on up. Okay. Damn. I said I said I was going to suffer f through like just a little bit more. And now I'm going to turn the voicing voice acting off. I I don't know. Uh I'm I'm sure it Oh, we do have a double jump. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I'll just I'll just read it out loud. We got two male characters. I can do that. I'm digging the visuals. There's some nice sci-fi. Ooh, hoo -hoo. I love ships. We have to investigate that spaceship. Looks incredibly, uh, looks like even machines don't stand the test of time. It's incredibly old. I'm getting, oh, wait, I'm getting a bad feeling. Just like when I nearly froze to death on my first solo mission four years ago, or when I got caught in that explosion last year. Those events occurred because you didn't adequately assess the risk factors. There's, there were no special notes regarding this mission. Well, it may be confidential, I'm sure it'll be quick. So don't dwell on the possibilities. Let's focus and finish this up. Don't you have about seven days left to live? The reward for completing this mission successfully is eternal life. What? All right, that's different. Eternal life. I wonder what eternal life feels like. You'll have to ask when the mission is complete. What is this weird crystal thing? Huh, I'll do whatever I want. I... Okay, maybe that's a checkpoint. I don't know. I'm just going. I like the character up until I look at his face. His face doesn't quite match, like, the body. He looks like a 17-year-old, a but scaled up and, like, kind of stitched onto a 20-something-year-old's old body. It's strange, to say the least. I, I wish they had actually gone for a, an older protagonist. I think that's true of a lot of games, but this might be just me reflecting on the fact that I'm 31 now. NSPs? What are Orbit's NSPs doing here? Uh... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. 
NSB, NSBs think we're enemies. Use various skills depending on the number of basic attacks you land. Swing played four times. Control, input, skill attack. Cool. So whole triangle, then triangle. Mix it up. Attack with a powerful blade swing. Okay. Control input, triangle in the air. R1, square, triangle, circle, X. Unleashes a powerful upward slash while switching blades. <laughs> oh! Well! Wait. Oh, no, I had to wait for it to be off cooldown. Or not? Wait, triangle square? Triangle square. Okay. Triangle square. Or R1 square. I'm tr I'm really trying this. Triangle. Sir nope. Maybe I... Ah, I can also... Okay. I'm really trying to pull this combo off. It's actually a pretty sick combo, all things considered. Like, the combat on this, d despite the... I'm gonna say the soul-crushing voice acting. Combat's pretty good. Elvis, what happened? Have all the NSBs gone mad? Uh... There might be still- there might still be something nearby. Let's get out of here for now. Like, obviously I was spending time fumbling with that, uh... that combo, but like... Feels pretty good. Elvis is avoiding my question. Okay, nothing else. I don't know. I, I never really got into the Bayonetta or the, uh... Bayonetta or Devil May Cry. I think the only Devil, Devil May Cry I've played is DMZ5, and that's it. Okay, evade an enemy's attack with R2. Dash right before receiving damage to become invincible for a short period of time. Can be used for various interactions. Okay, L1. Wire. Cool. Hi. Ow. And I can sprint. I'm not really sure if the hold triangle thing is really worthwhile. Okay, and it is going to throw me off. Whoops. You ain't... You aren't allowed to hit me. That's illegal. Is that my health bar in the corner? Ooh. It is easy for me to take damage, apparently. Well, that's okay. I want to look up this combo so I can do it right, but you know what? Maybe it's kind of one of those the, the enemies are... Ooh, that was a thing. Yeah, I don't know. Enemies are weak enough that I don't have to worry about it too much. Is that my health bar on the top left? Am I on the cusp of death as a result of getting hit like a couple of times? Because if, if so, oof. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I gotta remember I have that. I don't think I can do any of these yet. Oh, well, onwards! Hey, Helvis. Didn't you say our mission was to collect a frontier relic? We're treating allies like enemies and attacking them. Damn. What on earth are they trying to hide in this mission? Uh, I know eternal life is important, but it won't matter if we die now. I know there's no other choice, but I hate having to fight against my allies. Isn't Medea from the combat team supposed to handle missions like this and not the exploration team? Uh, I didn't know things were this bad. This is highly confidential information, but they never said I can't tell the mission leader. The NSBs that were sent here first were hacked and started displaying strange behavior. And knowing that, Deucalion appointed you as the mission leader. Huh? Me? Why? This mission requires a biological researcher, not a robot who has an open mind about hacking. It also requires someone who can handle basic combat situations. From among the agents, you were chosen. So you chose me for this important, highly confidential mission. You're, you sure are observant. Personally, I think that it was a ridiculous decision.
You kind of look like him, but your personality is just... What? Really? Deucalion must be handsome, too. I... Have you seen our weird boyish face? Like, we very much have that, that kind of, like, youthful... Trying to find an adult actor to play Spider-Man... Uh, kind of look. Teleport to an enemy that the wire... Okay, so Quantum Warp is... That's cool. Okay, hacking signals out here. Find the cause, find the target. Screw your silly whip business. Oops. Camera did not want me to be looking at that, but I guess I should have been looking around more. Camera controls and controllers, not exactly my friend. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a number of, like, really sick combos that you can pull off if you know what you're doing. I mostly just hit, but maybe that's fine. The frontier spaceship. What if there are a bunch of security devices once we get inside? Can you deactivate them? If I get any closer, I might actually get hacked. Want me to go in by myself? Deucalion is a discerning eye and chose you for a reason. Coward. Hey, that means no annoying ball to just talk at me. I. Oh, looks like it's locked. How do I get in? Why don't you try destroying everything like you usually do? Uh. I have a suggestion from a very intellectual robot. Hello, pipes. Nope, can't break that. Can I break door? I broke door. With my handsome, boyish good looks. What? These facilities look familiar. It's where we were born made. Can we go down? No. Going down... Oh, wait, no. Maybe I can, but I have to... Either I have to take the stairs? I, I I guess let's check. Never mind. Invisible walls. Had other plans. What about the other way? Oh, no. It's, it's covered in a container. No can do. Yeah, they're playing up the main character as though he's supposed to be, like, kind of a... Uh... A bit of a brute, but... Uh, the, this whole face business, like, hard to get past. Can I be one of these? Ro Wait, no. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I was gonna be like, can I be one of these robots? They look sick. And then I realized, oh yeah, that one's just like a weird blocky version of me. Block out enemies with the right stick. And perfect. That's uh, sick. Whee! Ow. Ow! Oh, I haven't recovered yet. Okay. I need to lock on to you. Okay, it looks like the enemies are very easy to just kind of stun lock in this game. How do I heal? <laughs> As I've been near dead this entire time. Unless I'm unless I'm actually supposed to die here, and that's like one of the main plot points, I'm not entirely sure. Either that or this game really expects you to to absolutely rocket the combat system right from the get-go. I guess that's why the enemies are a little easy to stun. Or maybe they expect you just not to take that much damage. I don't, I don't know. Is this it? I think I found something, Helvis. There's an old SCA that looks like you. I've never seen this model before. Oh, we're in a time loop sort of thing. We've been here before. Is it on? 
Age, the hacking signal. Oh, Age, the hacking signal disappeared. How did you do that? Really? I barely nudged, nudged the thing. I think it reacted to me. I'm sure we'll know once we analyzed it. Just make sure you bring it out safely. What did you find? Is this thing really worth my life? That was dangerous. You still made it out alive. Stop complaining and put the relic inside my body. I need to analyze this and report to Decalion. Let's go back. I... Was that supposed to be the right translation there? Because... Well, and now it's sexy, sexy anime scythe girl. Elvis! It, sh it just died! Medea, what do you think you're doing? Getting rid of unnecessary obstacles and seizing the object of your desires. That's how the combat troops do things. Is there a problem? Why are you acting so shameless after interfering with someone else's mission? And what's more, you're intercepting the goods. You can't just ignore someone who killed my partner. Arrogant rookie, you must have a death wish. I'll just put you out of your misery. What? Aren't they from the same organization? I am immediately lost. Hey, you know how I said we were supposed to die? Kill him. Okay. Whoa. Woo. I think I am supposed to die here, by the way. I really wish they had friendly fire. Okay. Well, when in doubt, play like an absolute cheese lord that I am. Hit and run tactics are the... He to Victor, damn it. <laughs> I got smacked out of the sky. Uh, I wonder what happened if I had won. Oh well. Did I just get yeeted into this? Nope. You know, I'll give them props for a, for a character that's effectively just been death cutscenes. That's a good way to go. You are able to attack while switching blades. Yeah, it looks like you get to four different ones with them. Twelve hours later. Four different ones of them. Four different weapons that I can switch between freely. I bet we get her scythe. That scythe was too badass not to just obtain. Now let me guess. We have some kind of crazy power as a result of that thing. Oh, they actually have it make a, a sound effect for the crystals in the back clunking into each other. It's almost cute. Okay, no, it's actually kind of cute. It's like somebody to sighted across a baby hippo, a rhino, and a geology museum together. Ah. Oh. Well, that was that. I was expecting something else. Damn. Elvis. Hello, creature. I'm going to call you Elvis, too. 2.0. 2.1, in fact. Imply even further progress. 
What's so special about that thing? Elvis, I'll avenge you if it's the last thing I do. Wow, I'm touched. Huh? What? It still works? It's me, Helvis. Uh, Exploration Team Senior Agent Age. Remaining lifespan 6 days, 12 hours, and 39 minutes. Your face might resemble Deucalion, but you lack his brains and wit, so don't let it go to your head. Each time you have nearly avoided death on a mission, you kept the underwear you were wearing as a lucky charm. Looking in the mirror before taking off in a mission, on a mission. Okay, stop, jeez. There's so much about me. It must be Helvis. What the heck happened? I don't know either. I must have been moved into the relic. What on earth even is that thing? I wonder what... Uh, I wonder what Medea and Deucalion plan to do with this. I think we need to focus on more on those NSBs that were directed uh, detected nearby and less on your curiosity. It seems Medea's combat troops are looking for us. Do you think we can fight again? My blade broke during that last battle. In our current state, there's no way we can win even if we try to take them on. Huh, in that case, let me try using this crystal. Drain. Acquire energy from crystals that grow around the field or items dropped after defeating an enemy. Steel blade times two. A blade that was made in a hurry. It has weak durability. Okay. So, kind of figured those out. It's this one. Triangle circle X. Oh. Oh, change blade attack. It's not a combo that I was trying to pull off. That's how I switch weapons. When durability falls below a certain level, all remaining durability will be consumed to launch an attack. Cool. I hate durability systems. It looks like it has a timer. Okay, I don't know. It's one of the features of this relic. Use energy to restore HP. Try absorbing the blue crystal, too. You can recover HP using absorbed uh, energy absorbed from the crystal. There. Oh. So many crystals here. Absorb all the energy. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to miss an amount of the dialogue as we go by. I think I've absorbed all the energy in the area. Wait here for a moment. I'll accelerate time and try activating the crystal again. Accelerate time? Time shift is a technique that allows you to rapidly glimpse through time. When energy is filled to the max, it will automatically be consumed, and the number of times you can use time shift will increase. No way, the crystal's recharged. What the heck is that relic? It, it can even control time? Um, age now isn't the time to be in awe. There's some other energy gathering. Drap oils. They got a bad temper, so I don't think we can avoid a fight. Is that what they call a cat? Damn, they're coming at us all at once. Very much have to avoid damage. Did I just break a sword? I think I did just break a sword. Okay, there we go. Well, I definitely dig the juggling system, and it looks like I got a steel blade off of that, so the durability system probably isn't going to be that heinous. But at the same time, I don't know. I am perfectly comfortable with games just not having durability systems, period, and just letting me do my thing. I... Uh, I don't know. I think it'll work for this one. I think it's going to be more about resource management and forcing you to switch weapons a little evenly. Uh, and also the, the bonus attack for a big hit, I guess, is pretty good. Or, 
running out of durability gives you a, a heavy hit. Like, I guess that's fine. Green radar has detected, been detected inside this uh, forest. Check it out. Absorb the energy from purple crystals to craft a module it contains. Oh. Okay. Make something good when you obtain it. Wait. Is that... Are my stats just up? Or... Oh, no. No, no, no. I have a limited number of these modules that I can equip. That's unfortunate. But I understand. Okay. Uh, let's see. How long have I been recording for? 25 minutes. Ugh. Wow. I'd say time flies, but actually it feels like uh, it hasn't gone that fast. Or more times fast. I don't know. It's a train radar that was used by the Frontier. Looks like it's still working. Let me see if it can still be used. Save point. Data will be saved automatically. Interact with it to improve age and Helvis's abilities. I feel like there's a lot that we can do now. Elvis, is there any other way to contact the mothership? It'd be great if we could contact Ukalian directly or report to or teleport to him. You think a new function will just pop out of me because you ask? There's way too much data in here. It's hard enough to support you while decrypting basic functions. Huh. What would be helpful in this situation? I'm detecting some very powerful energy in the depths of the forest. With that amount of energy, there's a good chance it's a spaceship. Really? Well, I guess we have no other choice. Let's go. Okay. Blades can be enhanced. Helvis can be enhanced. Prove a blade's abilities by consuming crystal fragments. I see. So, break blade attack damage. All steel blade attacks. And steel blade skills. What else do we have? Range attack to the triangle skill. Spans the range of those attacks. And this is just for the the steel blade. I don't really know which direction I want to go with. Break blade, I'm assuming, is when, when it actually breaks on me. I'm just going to go for the damage in increase. It's a bit boring, but having just flat numbers is always kind of nice. Okay. Anything else here? Yes. Orb. Power gear? Power gear. Oh, right. That's the other thing. Parts can be enhanced. Okay, improve Age's equipment by using power gears to upgrade various skills. Alright, so we can upgrade extra sockets. You can dash after jumping. And it looks like I'm... No, I can't level these up further. Use the wire to acquire crystals. Damage increases when critical rage is activated. Dash after jumping. Shockwave generated when you switch blades. Number of modules. Number of modules. Jump quickly during an attack. Huh. Looks damage on all enemies in your path while traveling through the quantum warp. Small amount of damage to enemies contacted by the wire. And shockwave. I guess I'm just going to go for the socket more than anything else. And Helvis. Improve skills by Helvis. Well, we're out of crystal fragments. Increases recovery amount, amount, number of time shift charges, and we don't know the rest of that. That's fine. Hello. Give me more weapon. Oh, is 20 potentially the maximum? Maybe. I guess something strange ahead. Looks like machines? Yeah, it's the robots with crystals growing out. What's that? The crystal wall? The path is blocked. What should we do? This must have happened when the NSB power source crashed near a crystal. If we want to break that down, we'll need a blade using energy with the same properties. We have to find the same type of energy first. 
Similar energy has been detected nearby. Why can't I just absorb that? All right. It's fine. We'll just go get a different blade over here. Hello. I'm here for sweet weapons. I don't think it'll give up the energy without a fight. This one's bigger than the Drapoles. Drapoles? We saw earlier. Be careful. What does L2 mean? Oh! That was the rage. Katana, item pull. Helpless will loot all nearby enemies of low or items of low importance. Okay, katana inflicts more damage than biological enemies and grants a stiffening effect depending on the enemy's size. Alright. Cool. So that's the katana? I mean, it looks sick. I, I'll i say this again. Like, this game's actually pretty good. It, I'm getting Fantasy Star vibes from this. It kind of reminds me of what, as a child, I imagined Fantasy Star was. If that makes any sense. Because, like, ultimately, Fantasy Star was much slower, much clunkier, and, and way less functional. But it felt like this to me as a child. Where there was just, like, this feeling of, of, uh, you know, being this, you know, gosh, how do I even put it? I felt like a badass, you know, super soldier? Uh... I'm just gonna use the air juggle. Just to... Just to get around. There we go. Aw. Didn't quite work. But it's fine. Give me all the goodies. But you know the sci-fi weaponry, the armor that isn't like really terribly bulky. I don't know. It's it just very much reminds me of of that style. And also kind of the weird alien world that really isn't that weird. There's just a little bit of weirdness currently. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at? Drapples. Okay, weakness attack. Each time you attack with a katana skill, biological enemies will start to reveal their weakness. Allowing you to defeat them in one blow. Weakness gauge of a biological enemy is shown above their HP bar. And circle when their gauge reaches zero. Cool. The problem is I kill him too fast. That's the issue. But weakness gauge is cool, but I am strong. Ow. I am strong. But that doesn't necessarily mean that... There we go. I am golden. Oh, there's a bunch of damage. Or oh, katana. If there's anything else. Or oh, katana. So it really does look like I'm just going to have four weapons, not a whole lot of variance in between them. Literally dive right into that one. Whoa! That was sick. Like, big spinny move. I guess I might as well grab the HP as we go by. Or HP. We might as well heal while we're here. Probably keep an eye out for another heal energy crystal, but no idea if we're going to find one. And as always, go off the beaten path. There's always interesting goodies out here. What? What do you mean that crystal? Wait, hold up. Nope, still can't do anything with that. All right, so I'm actually pretty chill with this game. Like, I'm going to say there's still a, a fair amount of...
Uh, there's a fair amount of stuff that I haven't seen yet. We've still got two weapons that we haven't grabbed. Uh, and obviously we barely even touched the plot. I'm very glad I turned off the voice acting though. And honestly, if you guys feel like picking this game up, I'd probably recommend doing the same. It, not that the, uh, the voice acting was that bad, but I don't really feel like I've lost anything by turning it off. And I think I've, I think I've gained a little bit, uh, especially because, you know, I can voice it myself. Hello. More power gear. Why am I just looting people's escape pods? Well, drop pods? Not like those pods really looked like they were designed for, you know, leaving the atmosphere. They were very clearly just... Oh, hello. When you inflict damage on an... Or defeat an enemy, critical rage will increase. You'll be able to use the critical rage move. Ow. Whoa. Avoid and rage. Well, I raged. I didn't really do much else there. But still, grab the loots. Anything else? No. I... I'm gonna go a little bit further, but I feel like we're kind of coming to the end of our time here. Not necessarily because I have no interest in playing more, but, you know, just because... So much. So many games. So little time. Okay, this is rage. So I have no idea what the L2... Critical Rage Mode, or the L2 move. Yeah, whatever that is, is really badass, but I do not understand why it's a thing. Okay, there you are. Excuse me, sir. Time for me to do whatever this move is. Seriously, I have no idea where, what kind of move... Where, oh, it's not dead yet. There we go. Are right, we done? We done. Anyway. Uh, finish my thought. Ah, I missed... Nope, I didn't miss a thing. Cool. Uh, I was finishing thoughts. There we go. I like this a lot, actually. It's got the right level of, like, action combat combos and, you know... I, I'd say, you know, Bayonetta slash... Am I just upgrading these? Or is it kind of permanent? Wait, what? Oh. I have no idea what I just did there. I think I, I actually reduced my HP. Well, is what it is. But it reminds me a lot of Devil May Cry. Obviously, it's a little bit more indie. There are some rough around the edges bits. And like I said, the voice acting is kind of oof. The plot seems kind of basic but fun you know it's like oh you're a you're sci-fi space exploration soldier guy and you've been betrayed and you have to figure out why you've been betrayed and what this relic is and also why are you gonna die in seven days i don't know uh oh is this is this a boss arena okay fine we'll beat the boss and then we'll go from there uh, let's see that's not gonna help me but unless oops that's not it does it have to be that module Hmm. It seems like it only can go in that module. All right, what is this? Energy. 100 and... Big Bad Boss Beasts. Ow! Whoa! Okay. Fighting groups of enemies has definitely thrown me for some loops. But I think so much of that has to do with the fact that... There we go. I still don't know what the L2 move is, but I got it. And I'm an amateur, and we have the Claymore. Inflicts more damage on robotic enemies and grants other stiffening effects depending on the enemy size. Okay, so it's slower, bigger, and it has a defensive stance while switching blades counter upon being attacked. Cool. Pretty standard. Grab the rest. I guess I have to keep absorbing the claymores. Yeah, I think the only real weak point for this game is just the, uh... Let's see. And that that is going to hurt my damage. Uh, 
Okay, I'll, I'll say that module module system might be a little bit of a, a thin point. But the only weak point so far really is just the utter lack of enemy variety carrying me forward. It's not terrible, but it's kind of one of those where I was really hoping for a greater variety than, what, three mech types and crystal, crystal saber tooth tigers. But, I don't know. Maybe that's okay. Hey, are we back to this? Well, we're back to a spaceship. I was really expecting a spot to save. I'm detecting some very powerful energy inside this building. Frontiers building. Huh. Well, the whole thing kind of loops. Do I have a save point, though? Nope. Well. Okay, is that something shooting at me? Maybe? I... I thought I saw a line for something shooting at me. But I guess not. Anyway, uh, so this is available on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, and I actually... there's more of them. I don't know how much it is. I want to say it's 20, but maybe 30 bucks. And I check, but unfortunately, normally, I'm not at my computer. Blech. Unlike normal, I'm, I'm not at my computer. I'm across the room. Oh, some of these guys do actually have a range attack. It looks sick. It plays really well. And there's definitely, as always, kind of that, that impetus to keep going and play more, because it's just... I don't know, it's fun. I don't play a whole lot of uh, well-made hack-and-slash RPGs, but there have been more than a few of them lately. And I'm really here for it. I don't know. There we go. Is that it? Can I save? I guess not. Holy shoot. They are just dumping swords on me. I was expecting, you know, to be a little bit more uh, Legend of Zelda where, you know, you have a limited amount. And the answer is a big, solid... No, actually, it's really not that problematic. There is no end to them. Well, one way or another, I think I'm going to have to call this video even if I can't find that save point. And I'll just make do. Unless, this might actually be a home base of sorts. Maybe? Because there's a bunch of crystals outside a door. Eh. It's fine. Okay. Well, anyway, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I've got a whole bunch of uh, cool new indie games to check out every single day. And honestly, I wouldn't even mind coming back to this one if people are really interested. But for now, at least, I'm out of time. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.